Hi guys, it's Laura with Contessa Creations. Um, I'm back. I um, was so crazy during the holidays and then I got super sick and anyway I am back to share with you some of my creations and this is super long overdue but this is for Reagan and this is her um, swivel clasp that um, I put in my um, these were my December um, or November stick pins or no I take that back they were my January because we did um, January December ones in January, Christmas. So this is for Reagan, and then this is her um, swivel clasp. And um, I had a lot of fun doing this one for her. Um, this is just a cute little um, plastic ornament. And this um, is just a little, let's see, it's just a little um, bead, and I put a little uh, Christmas mini Christmas tree light. And then this is a We Are Memories Keeper grommet, and I just um, cut the uh, little uh, spiky things off on the back, and then I put it down, slid it um, down on this hanging um, bead. So I thought that turned out pretty cute. And this is a Tim Hart Holtz, um, yeah, Tim Hart's, Tim Holtz um, fragment charm. And I just put that on there. And let's see. And that's just a little um, filigree flower that I put on. And that is a um, little bead that I put together. I liked that one. I thought it turned out cute. And then, um, let's see what else. Just a couple. Let's see. Oh, that was, um, I did that. And that's from the the S is from the Tim Holtz um, type charms, I think. And I put Reagan's um, initial of her last name, and I put some glossy accents in there. And then I put a little uh, bead and bead caps on the bottom there. And then um, this is a little um, charm that she can put a picture in or something, whatever she'd like to do. And this is just a plastic, um, you know, just a Christmas decoration from Michael's and I just put it on a um, lanyard uh, clasp and then these were um, little beads I found it um, they're star beads I found at Joanne's and I just slipped them on a head pin and then I dangled the little red Christmas tree light at the bottom and then um, I think was that it oh and then this oh I love this one these were just um, Joanne's had them they're like clay beads and um, so I just put two um, bead caps on and put it together. So that is for Reagan. So I hope she likes it. Sorry it took me so long, Reagan, but I actually had it done in February, but I was so sick that I couldn't even get it out to you. Okay, and then the next um, creation I made was for my February stick pin swap. And I wanted to give it a vintage feel, and I just love, love, love the way this turned out. I used some um, craft paper and then just some chipboard, and I inked it with, um, I think it's Van Dyke Brown by Ranger. And this is the Tim Holtz um, season stamps. It says Happy Valentine's Day, and then I cut a piece of um, his tickets. I cut the paper and the chipboard and then stamped it. And then this is his rosette flower, and I did just some vintage paper, and these are um, Prima roses. And these are little sprigs, they're Wilton, and I think they go on cakes, and I just love how that turned out. And then these are my um, beads. I really like how they turned out. I wanted them to look vintage, and I thought that um, they turned out looking like that. So anyway, I love, this is probably one of my favorites, favorite um stick pin presentations that I did so anyway hope you guys like it and I'm I feel bad I haven't been able to get the videos up of all the swaps that I've hosted but it's just been too hard with being sick and just trying to get the swaps out on time so I apologize girls and um you know we'll I'll resume shortly so um anyway and these were my um cards for my valentine swap or I'm sorry it's the greetings from swap and the theme was valentine's and that was for um, we did them for January, and this is my other one that I did. Oops, that goes up. I kind of love how that one turned out. I love this uh, ribbon. I got it at Michael's at Valentine's, and they have these little um, 
uh, felt hearts and they actually were um, red on red and then there was like pink ones the same so I just popped a red one of these and put a pink one on I liked it better and then this um, I love how that one turned out I love this um, ribbon it's kind of it reminds me of a vintage ribbon so those are my Valentine cards and then I did um, for February our card swap was vintage and I had a whole like vision of how I was going to do these cards and this is how it started and I just wasn't feeling it. I mean, I like how this card turned out, but I, I was, I don't know, it was just the weirdest thing. I started doing these, um, I went to a crop with Yoli Bean, uh, Jean at Scrapinology, Rena, Scrapstress, and Joe at Paper Drama, and the shabby pink stamper, Patty, and a couple other gals. And I, we were having so much fun that I just wasn't really fill in the groove with these so um, anyway I did them and it you know turned out okay but then I found these um, note cards that I had and I am um, this is what they look like and I bought them I got them at the dollar store for I think it was like 12 for a dollar and I thought they were really cute but I thought you know I should be able to do something with them so what I did was um, I just cut out the the image and then the back side of the card went so nicely that I just went ahead and cut it out with my Sizzix. It's a Tim Holtz, one of his frames. Um, and that's how they turned out. And then I um, embossed them with one of Tim Holtz's um, embossing folders. But I wish I had had one other card of, of these, you know, maybe in a different color because that would have made a perfect set. But nonetheless, I love how I recycled something that really didn't need to be recycled, but I just didn't like the look of this card. And so I turned it into this card. So, um, like I said, I found it at the dollar store and you never know what you're going to find there. So I had, I had a lot of fun making these. And like I said, this one was, you know, I had my ideas, but then I kind of got over my ideas and found something different. So you never know what's going to roll when you uh, start creating. So anyway, the other thing I did was Yoli Beans um, Collage Melange over at Your Paper Pantry, and it was Recipe Swap. And I had a lot of fun. She d She's done my card swaps uh, the past couple months, so I told her I would do her recipe swap. So um, this is um, Cosmo Cricut Paper. And they had this pack right here with these at um, Michael's. They were normally $14.99, and I got them uh, on clearance for $3.99, so I was stoked. And it just went perfectly with what I was doing. Um, and this is a uh, Dress It Up tomato, and this is some um, trim. And then I muted it out with some kind of a mustardy, um, it was really bright yellow. And Yolanda's suggestion was to kind of mute it out, so I did. And this is a um, file card that I thought was cute for the um, for recipe and then this side is my actual recipe and this was a green pepper brad which I thought was really cute and then this is a little um, fi uh, file punch and then I just cut half of it and then I put my information and then I inked everything up with my um, Van Dyke Brown and then I um, used I think it was Maya Mist on these two and then a I think it was um, I can't remember. Joe let me borrow one of her, Lindy Stat being the yellow. And then this punch, this uh, branch and these leaves is from the Stampin' Up! Bird and Branch stamp, which is a really, really cool stamp. So um, you should check that out um, from Stampin' Up! So I had it turn like this. And this is my broccoli coleslaw. And this is the yummiest coleslaw ever. You use um, packages of broccoli coleslaw, which they sell in the, um, obviously, where they have packaged lettuce and coleslaw, but it's broccoli coleslaw. And you use the top ramen soup, and you use the, um, the flavor packets and the noodles. And it makes the best, best ever um, broccoli coleslaw. So I don't know um, if you can see the... Uh, recipe but it's really delicious so anyway those are my creations and um, leave me a comment let me know what you think I've sure missed uh, doing videos and I've missed uh, everybody's comments and I know I had a couple videos up where I, I missed 
posting back, but like I said, Christmas came and then I got sick and then I got sick again and I am sick of being sick. So hopefully I'm back and I've missed, uh, I've missed doing it. So, um, anyway, I will talk to y'all soon. Keep creating. Take care. Bye-bye.